Welcome to Deutsch Math September newsletter. This is part four of Algebra One word problems. In this problem, we're dealing with a uh, classic chemical mixture. A tank has capacity of 10 gallons. When it's full, it contains 15% of alcohol. How many gallons must be replaced by an 80% alcohol solution to give 10 gallon tank of 70% solution? Let's get on to the blackboard and let's solve this problem. Okay. Let's solve. Solution over here. Let's take a look at what we have to do. Um, I'm not going to repeat how we saw a word problem. Let's go right dive into here. So um, step one, of course, is define variable. So we're going to say um, R is equal to the number of gallons needed to replace. Okay. Now, step two, in order to get the equation out of the words over here, what's really important and more and more important is we start drawing pictures, get a clear idea of what's happening, what's been changed, and what has stayed the same. Uh, after all, equal sign is all about um, what stayed the same. So here's our state that's before. Um, let's pick a different color of uh, what we want to end up with. Same 10 gallon tank, but we want to end up with 70% of solution. Okay. This is our end result. Now, in between is where we need to figure out what's happening. Okay. Um, the same beaker was, uh, let's put our beaker over here. We were taking solutions out of this one, replacing it. Let's put in a different looking beaker. So over here, we're taking some of the solution out, right? And then we are, after we replaced, drained some of the old ones, we have the same beaker here. We have a different solution, different concentration of the solution. Now we're pouring it. Let's see, here is the solution. Okay. We're pouring it back in there. This is called a replace. Think about what a replace is. So when we started, we have uh, not that you can separate the alcohol with the water, but if you were able to, we have a 15%, okay, percent I put it on this side, I'm going to put an extra gall gallons on this side. There's 15% of alcohol, uh, here, I'll we'll put alcohol over here. Um, the whole tank is 10 gallons. So by that, 15% of 10 gallons we will have uh, 1.5 gallons of alcohol, okay? Now back over here, what we want to end up with 70%. This whole thing here, it's still our 10 gallon, but because the concentration increased, now all of a sudden we have 70% times the 10 gallon, now we have seven gallons, okay? So seven gallons of alcohol, all right? Now the concentration changed is because the middle steps over here. The step is we drained some of the old solutions, okay? Because it's lower concentration, we drained our amount out, okay? Uh, and then, we poured 80% of the same R, same volume here, back into the beaker. So the level was at here before, maybe it reduced a little bit. That's the difference over here. 
Okay, and then we poured it back into the 10 gallon mark. Okay, so first we drained the old 15%, and then we added 80% solution. All right, now alcohol level wise, let's just say alcohol level wise, over here we have, we started with 1.5 gallons of alcohol, no longer the percent percentage here. We ended with seven gallons. Now how do we go from 1.5 gallon to seven gallon? It's through here. We drained some alcohol of the old concentration. We added it with more concentrated. Let's see um, mathematically how do we write this one in equations. We started 1.5 when we drained our amount. So how much do we take out? Take out, we have our volume, we took out 15%. And I remember R is number of gallon needed to replace. So we drained R, put it back R, but in different concentration. We drained, so the 15, 1.5 gallon, we drained this much in gallons, and then we replaced, we added, okay, we added 80% of solution What's the total amount? R amount. And we end up with seven gallons here. Okay, so the overall equation is uh, 1.5 gallons, right? Minus this chunk that we drained, and then we added with something else, and then we ended with seven gallons. Now this one, um, Concept-wise, it's not a difficult one. What is difficult for a lot of the students over the years, what I observed is that the diagrams make such huge difference. If you can picture what's going on in your mind, it's very less likely that the math will get in the way. But the, the time is well spent if you have to spend um, half of the work time just to figure out what's going on here. It's much better than spending the time solving an equation that's not correct. So get the process right, get your equation right, spend 90% of the time on getting the equation right, then worry about solving it. What's the point of solving it if the equation is not right? Okay, now at this point, we are ready for step number three. So let's actually go in there, solve the problem here. So basically we have, uh, let me write it all over again. So it's 15% of 10 gallons we started. We took away our amount that's at 15%. We added same uh, volume, but this time at a higher concentration, I we ended up with 70%, much higher concentration than we, we started. Numerically, we have 1.5 minus 0.15R plus 0.8R is equal to 7. Okay, I'm going to combine those two over here. I end up with a uh, 0. Point, um, let's see, what do I have? 0. Uh, 0.65, 1.57. Oh, you know what? Let's uh, do the math over here. So 0. 0.8, uh, 0. 0.15. So I have a 5 carry 7, 6, uh, 0. 0.65 R equal to, equals to 7. And this is 1.5 minus. Okay, I'll let you run through the math over here. So what you need to do is um, take the 1.5 over on both sides. Okay, I'll do this relatively quickly. Like I stressed before, the important part of this word problem, it's not so much how to solve the equations themselves. Um, I'm more, much more interested in can you draw the diagram? Can you describe what's happening over um, over here, let me see, let me make sure my math is correct over here. Oh, I missed a sign here, this is a plus. Okay, so in the end, our results here is you can pause 
and to run it on your calculator, the answer is 8.46 gallons. Okay, now moving on to the last step where we need to check to make sure all the math worked out. So, um, step number four, let's double check. Right. So we started with 15% of uh, 10 gallons. So this is equal to 1.5 gallons. Okay. We said we want to replace Replace is two steps. First, we took away 8.46 gallons at 15%. Okay. And this one, if you run it through your calculator, this one is 1.269 gallons of alcohol. Right? Then we added 8.46 of 80% solution. And this one, again, if you run through your calculator, you'll get 7.6.768 uh, gallons. Okay. If you do a bookkeeping here, add it all together, you will have 7 gallons. That's the end. We needed an end is 7 gallons. And this checks out. Okay? Have a confident day.